Oh my goodness. So I, I, I'm in a bit of an argument over here off camera. So Khabib sends out a tweet and Khabib says that UFC 254, him versus Gaethje, is the most loaded card of all time. Now, that has my attention. When I look at that card, I look at Khabib versus Gaethje, and I got to tell you, I've been counting down the days. But I don't know the rest of the card. So Khabib has my attention. I go look at the card, and he could be right. This card is loaded. As I'm staring at the card, and here's the, the, the point of contention over here, RDA is on the card versus Islam Makachev. And I'm staring at that, and I tell Ryan, I go, my good, they've done it again. They've done it again to RDA. The uh, history of having the hardest schedule in the history of the sport, I've never seen anything like RDA's schedule. I will compare RDA's schedule to that of Dan Henderson, who covered three weight classes and took on multiple world champions in all of them, including Fedor and Big Nog. By the way, I mean, at heavyweight, Big Nog twice for the record, and Fedor at heavyweight, I mean, that's a hard schedule. I would compare RDAs to that. Doing it at 55 and 1. I mean, this schedule, if you guys go back and look at that, if you ever don't have an appreciation for RDA, world champion, all the great things he's done, just look out and look at the water this guy's had to carry. So now they've done it again with Islam. So I'm telling Ryan that. And Ryan, he tries to scold me. He goes, well, chill, who do you think he should fight? He's the former world champion. You want to give him an easy fight? They don't have easy fights. Where, where, where in there are you? I never, what are you talking about? I didn't say easy. I didn't even say give him a fight that he's, he's going to go out and he's the favorite to win. That's not what I'm saying in the least. What I'm saying is the opposite has happened to RDA. RDA has never been scheduled for a fight where he was the favorite going in. He's won a whole bunch of fights, including a world championship. He wasn't supposed to. RDA does not walk out second. He walks out first. He's supposed to lose each one of these men. That's all I'm suggesting. He can beat Islam. Islam can beat him. I get the whole thing. I'm suggesting if you look at the body of work over a period of time, you had a guy who came in who people didn't think could do it. Okay, great. Everybody's that. Nobody ever thinks a guy can do it. Uh, okay. Pico, it might be the only guy in MMA history where people just thought this guy was going to go on to be champion. Uh, I understand that. But RDA proved people wrong. And then he came out and proved them wrong again. And again and again, it became a world champion. But never once... Was he supposed to win or did anybody accept what it is they were seeing? That is the point that I'm attempting to make. And when I say that he's uh, fighting Islam, there's no kind of an insult here or a predetermined RDA is not going to win or that Islam is or vice versa. That's between those boys. What I am saying that is if you look at the body of work of who he's been scheduled to fight, when he's been scheduled to fight them, and the odds going into the fight when RDA puts his name on the contract, there is some patterns here, and I'm right. So when Ryan comes up and goes, well, who is it you think he should fight? I don't offer you who I think he should fight or who I don't think he should fight. I am simply supporting my premise, which has been my opinion for years now. If you back the tape up three years and I come and tell you, the guy that has had the hardest schedule in the history of the sport is RDA. I'm right. And now you have three years on top of that. I don't really understand what Ryan is missing in this. There's no part of me that's trying to build his schedule or pad his... I'm not doing any of those things. And he can go out and win these fights the same as he won all the way to a world championship. And an interim championship at a different weight. He's had an incredible career. He's an incredible fighter. If you attempt to argue with me that anybody has helped him along the way, you're the one that's wrong.